So we know that it needs a good cleanup. Um, we know that there are some dings and things in the paintwork, um, which I'm not going to bother too much about because I don't think I'll be able to get this colour pink. But this is the main problem. So I need to order a um, jack socket plate, something that will fit. Uh, so I need to measure where the two holes are. Let's get that in shot actually. Measure where the two holes are, see how far apart they are. Um, another nice big dig in it right there. Um, those are the main issues. Everything else is just set up I think. But the one concern I have was that the electrics are not what they should be. So I'm going to plug it in. And see what happens. Turn four lamps down and everything is turned off. Try and get that in there. Oh, actually. So, in the store, either the amp that they let me try it out with or their cable was screwed. So there's a bit of noise. Bit of noise that just needs working out. Okay, so that's much better. That's that's fine. So now the next thing is to I want to tune it to proper pitch um, because it's at least a semitone low at the minute, and see if that gives enough tension on the neck, which uh, is just too straight. There's zero neck relief. Um, so I'm going to tune it up to pitch and see where we are. And uh, yeah, tuning. Here's an interesting thing. I tried to tune this up to pitch and it doesn't want to. It's kind of closer than it was now, but it's really pulling the tram up. It shouldn't. It, I, don't, I don't know why you would want it set that high. That's ridiculous. There's still no neck relief. Well, there's a little. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny improvement, but nowhere near enough. So, I think I need to. Detune, pop open the back, and release the strings, or the the springs that are, or maybe bring the claw back or something. I don't know. Um, but there's something odd going on. Um. Right. Okay. Doesn't like being tuned, and also. Pulled the claw back as far as I can in the tram cavity. Um, the springs are pretty tight. I think I need to put another couple of springs in because this is just pulling that bridge up so high. Um, so you can see how high the action is. Can you see how high the action is? Um, bottom. I'll not let that deter me from checking the truss rod now. Um, and we'll see okay. how... Um, I found two, two springs that I had. Um, so I stuck them in, and that seems to have helped the situation quite a lot. Maybe that's too much. I might need to sit it, float it a bit more, I don't know. It might be okay, actually. Um, I'm not convinced the truss rod actually works. Um, 
but I'll keep working on it and make sure I'm doing it correctly. It's kind of hard to see in to the to where the nut is. Um, but yeah, I'll give it a quick clean up. Do some more research about Floyd Rose trams because I just I don't have very much experience at all of this kind of kind of setup, and there's just so many things, and I think it needs to be set up absolutely perfectly for the whole guitar to make any sense. Um, obviously, this will get fixed, and yeah. So yeah, it sounds pretty good. All right, just through my little um, Vox. Um, is it Pathfinder? I can't even. Know. Yes, Pathfinder. Little Vox practice amp. Yeah. It was on the guitar in the shop, and I'll also just give it a. I'm not going to do a full clean just because I don't want to take the strings off right now. Well, let's just. You know, an initial with the lighter fluid, just to try and clean off any crap. Otherwise, I don't spill it. Oh, it smells lovely. Mm, I'll stay in here all day and do this. Now the reason for using lighter fluid is because it evaporates away and it's really good at lifting crud that's stuck on there. Um, obviously when I do this properly I will uh, take the strings off, etc., and use both hands instead of eating an ice cream while doing it. It's a little more pleasant to work on. Um, fretboard doesn't seem too bad, actually, but you know it'll be it'll get a nice oiling whenever um, I do this properly. So I'm quite impressed with how this guitar. Is it's not you know it's in pretty good shape I guess apart from the setup issues I'm having, but I think that my the setup issues are probably just down to me and my inexperience with this kind of thing. Um, so then my only other worry is the truss rod, which I hope I'll be able to uh, rectify fairly easily. I think I'm just being a wuss with it and not being forceful. It's just trying to gauge how much force is too much. Because you do have to give a little bit of, uh, put a bit of effort into it, otherwise, you know, it just, no, you just have to put a bit of effort into it. I'm rambling now, again, as usual. Mm. I'm enjoying this ice cream now. Look, I'll get rid of the sticky label bit. That's 
the most important part for today.